All right, let's talk about UVs in 2023. Uh, in the old days, you could go in here to Z plugin, and you still can. I'm, I'm not saying the old days you don't do this anymore. Uh, you can go in here to UV master, and in this particular piece of geometry, so I have the body selected here, uh, I have subdivision levels on it. So in that case, what I need to do is say, hey, UV master, go in here and say, work on clone. Now, if I turn on polyframe, it is a symmetrical object, so I could say, okay, using symmetry and polygroups, go ahead and unwrap this for me, let it work. Once it's all done, I can go in here and flatten and it'll show me uh, the UVs uh, and then I can unflatten. So it gives me, you know, if I go in here to unflatten and say check seams, you can see where the seams uh, gave me, it put a, a seam along the back bottom. Um, I probably could have put a polygroup on the bottom there and you know, the hands are just kind of guessing at where the seams are. So it's, it did okay, but um, I can fine tune this. So let's go in here to say, uh, turn off check seams. We're gonna copy the UVs. We're gonna go back to our original file. Uh, that subtool is selected, the body subtool here. So I'm gonna say paste UVs. So now this body, if I go down here to the UV map section, you're gonna see uh, we have a delete UV option, which means this thing has UVs. If you wanna check them real quick, you can go down here to texture map, create new from UV check or new from UV map and it'll show you your UV. So, and it'll be red in here if there's any overlapping, we're in good shape, so yay. We'll go ahead and turn texture off and let's go into solo modes. So we're just focusing in on the body. Now you're gonna see some new options in here. So underneath UV map, you now have, here's create projection, the old uh, versions of creating UVs in ZBrush. And then under here, you now have create unwrap. And you're gonna see two options. Number one, you have creased edges and auto seams that you can choose one or the other. Um, right now we do have UV seams that UV master gave us. If you wanna use those, what you can do is go in here and say, hey, crease my UV seams. When you do that, that's gonna show you creasing. And by creasing, I mean, if I zoom in here, you'll see these little dotted lines, that's creasing. So now you're gonna see where your UV seams are. Well, like I said before, these it kind of put UV seams in weird spots. Um, but now in ZBrush 2023, you can use creasing to dictate where you want your UV seams to go. However, before we do that, um, we're gonna go ahead and kill the UV master UVs. And we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna do auto seams. I'm gonna hit, uh, it is symmetrical. So I'm gonna go ahead and say unwrap. If I wanna see these UVs quickly, I can go over in here to, uh, I'm gonna turn bump down to zero here. And I'm gonna say morph UV and then I'll morph my UVs out. And this is my auto seams unwrap. You're gonna see it ignored my creases, but it just went through and just gave me auto seams, laid everything out so that there was no overlapping geometry and that whole body is one island, which, you know, if that's what you're going for, go ahead and use it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say, unmorph my UV and I'm gonna use creasing uh, this time. So I'm gonna say, okay, choose creased edges here. I it is, it is a symmetrical object here, so I'm gonna leave that on. I'm gonna go up here to my crease menu. So underneath geometry crease, there's a whole bunch of crease options in here. I'm gonna say uncrease all. That's gonna get rid of all the creasing on my object. Now, if I do wanna use my polygroups for my creasing, I can. I can say, uh, go over here and hit this crease polygroup button. Uh, and before I do that, you know, let's simplify some of this. So this whole upper arm and lower arm. So just control shift tap the upper arm, control shift tap the lower arm, control shift drag to invert that, hit control W the polygroup visible, control shift tap to bring everything else back. And I can start consolidating a few of these. You can actually uh, control shift tap between polygroups and that'll grab both of them as well. Control W, there you go. So now uh, we've got arms and then hands and legs and feet. I think this'll work generally. And in fact, we can even go up here to this net, control shift tap, control shift X to expand, control W to polygroup and then control shift tap. There we go. So I've got pretty good polygroup UV seam. So let's go ahead and take advantage of that. I'm gonna go over here to geometry, crease PG. So I've creased all my polygroups. We're gonna go down here to UV map. We've got create sub menu in here. We've got creased edges selected. It's symmetrical. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say unwrap. So we say unwrap and then we're gonna go over here to morph UV when it's done. And now there we go. Now it's done exactly what we've asked it to, but there's a few problems. Number one, you can see these hands a little bit mangled. It it pelt mapped them and it did okay, um, but we we can we can give a give that a little bit better shot. And a good example down here is the tail. You know, it just unwrapped it to a circle. So let's go ahead and go out of Morph UV and let's fix this a little bit. So uh, for the well, just in general, let's talk about some Z modeler options. And again, we're working on the original object with subdivision levels here. We're not on a clone that's in UV that we're using for UV master. This is the actual model itself. So I'm gonna hit B Z M to go into my Z modeler brush or B and then down here somewhere in here is a, a Z, there you go, Z modeler brush, you can select that. 
And if I hover over an edge and hold down spacebar, uh, it defaults to insert maybe, I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna say crease. Now there's a bunch of crease options in here. If you wanna do a quick crease on an entire edge loop, or you know, a single edge is obvious. You can just go through here and say, okay, crease edge, crease edge, crease edge, right? So we'll undo that. Hold down spacebar over an edge and we're gonna switch this to edge loop, um, partial and complete. There's some nuance to those, but we'll go ahead and do complete here. And if we wanted to just slice around the arm for an entire edge loop, you can just tap on that one edge and it'll grab that entire edge loop and crease it. So that'll be a new UV seam if you want. Uh, I don't in this case, so I'm gonna undo that. And then there's poly loop. So you can uh, you know, click on a poly loop here and it'll go ahead and grab that crease. Similar to, it looks like uh, edge loop complete. So those are crease edge. What I tend to do is actually hover over a point and say crease shortest path. So what I can do now is, uh, right now it's cutting seams on my object. Well, in this case, it's actually not. Uh, it's only slicing where I want it to. Um, the other options over here, the unwrap, it'll cut, it'll slice seams where it thinks it needs to, but I'm gonna be explicit in that I want my seam to go from this point in the armpit all the way uh, down the wrist here to there. So there you go. So we clicked on this point, then we clicked on this point, it put a crease down here and that's where my arm is going to be um, split open on its UVs, perfect. And again, you know, you generally wanna put your UV seams where the camera is not gonna see it just in case there's some weird texture issues. Um, same thing with the tail. When I did UV master, it put, a, it put a UV seam right along the top. I don't want that, I want it on the bottom. So again, I'm gonna go, you know, right down the middle of my object, I'm gonna go from this point, oops, this point here. Let's go ahead and hover over an edge and then change this to do nothing so it doesn't accidentally uh, do something. I'm gonna click this point here, and then I want it to end right about here is where I want that seam to go. So now I've put a crease right along the bottom of the tail. Uh, and then those hands were problematic as well, right? So let's go along that uh, hand really quickly. And I have X symmetry turned on. So while I'm doing this, it's cutting seams on both sides. So I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna click here uh, on the wrist and we're gonna go uh, you know, let's go in higher. I'm gonna go here and then uh, just keep tapping. So again, we're hover over at a point, uh, hold down space, crease shortest path. So as I'm clicking on points, it's just creasing uh, the path between the points I'm selecting. So as I'm doing this, I'm gonna go down the finger here. And this geometry isn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination. So uh, I'm just gonna try and make decent decisions here down the middle of the hand over and uh, we're starting to get a little bit low, so maybe I wanna cut up a little bit and then we'll cut across. So again, uh, it might be a little bit difficult to see, but you can see we're putting in, as we're clicking on points, it's selecting the shortest path for us. And very quickly, we can just go around our object. I'm gonna go one up here and around the middle of the little fat finger here and then down here and then all the way down uh, to the wrist. So I basically cut uh, the entire palm out. So now when I go over here, go back down here to UV map, morph UV, it hasn't cut yet. So you can see our hands are, it's got creases, but it hasn't been split yet. So we gotta go down here and before we morph, go down here and say, unwrap with creased edges. And then we'll go ahead and morph when it's done. And now you'll see the hands, the, so here's where the arm is, uh, here's where the hand is. If you do want to play around with this layout a little bit, let's go ahead and unmorph our object here. Uh, you can hop over here into, like we were on before, Z plugin, UV master. So we've already UV'd our entire object, right? Let's go over here and say, work on clone. That'll take your object here. Keep the UVs that you already have. I'm gonna select flatten and that'll put it in this flattened state. You can see the zero to one grid that these UVs are in and I can hit W. Uh, and for example, I can hold down control and tap a poly group when you have uh, gizmo selected and that'll um, isolate just this uh, side here. So now what I can do is I can say, you know, let's go ahead and mask this one here. I'm gonna turn off X symmetry because these UVs aren't symmetrical. Uh, control tap or uh, hit W and then Alt tap here and I can just move the move, scale, rotate uh, any of these uh, in here. So basically use any geometry tools that you want to to manipulate these UV shells. So for example, I wanna like rotate, you know, this to be kind of flat. And then let's say I want to grab this one. So I can just grab a little piece of it, control shift, and then drag over this control shift A, which will visibility grow all control tap and then invert that. So I can go through here and just kind of modify this one all by itself here. I can control tap this one, mask this one out, and then I can go through here. You maybe, you know, maybe I want to shrink this down or whatever. I'll leave it up to you or, you know, let's move it out of the way. Now here's something uh, of note. So if I go through here and say, okay, I want to move this hand, control shift A, 
uh, control tab to invert and kind of scoot this over. You see how it goes out of the zero to one space. Uh, ZBrush will automatically take care of that for you. So again, if I want to just you know move this hand over here now and I go unflatten and then flatten again, it will extend the zero to one space to encapsulate the entire object. Um, so we've manipulated these UVs. So I'm going to say unflatten again, copy UVs and UV master, go back to our original. We're going to say paste UVs and then I can go down here and I can morph UV and you can say, okay, yep, that's what my UV layout is. Great. We can unmorph this. And again, like I mentioned before, you can go down here to texture map and just do a new, new from UV check, UV map, whatever you want to do to kind of check out your UVs. So we'll go ahead and turn our texture off. Uh, we'll go back in here to UV map. And just as a reminder, if you did go up here to geometry crease and we did an uncrease all and we don't have any more creasing, uh, you don't want to bring back the seams, just go in here to crease seams and that'll go ahead and take your UV seams that exist and put creases uh, along where those are.